All right. So musculoskeletal system examination in children, or you could say musculoskeletal examination in pediatrics. All right. So a uh, musculoskeletal examination in children is basically um, is somehow a big deal because um, children are not really um, as wise as adults that uh, they will just basically tell you that, okay, look here, I feel the pain here, and the pain is like, is characterized like this. Do you understand? So in children, you have to do much of like observation. You have to speak for the child. Okay, so musculoskeletal system examination in children, and this is the MBBS Niger. How kind of you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't? Right. So, um, what is our purpose for today? Uh, we are to discuss musculoskeletal system examination in children, and that's basically the pediatrics. Okay. So you can see this. Uh, this is pediatrics musculoskeletal system examination, and um. um Basically, in musculoskeletal system examination, there is a comprehensive table here uh, for what you're actually looking for in children from um, newborn to two years, all right? We'll come to that. So, you should observe the child working in a clinic room or playing at rest, okay? Now, you should appropriately expose the child so that you can actually see all the joints, right? But be aware of cultural sensitivity and gender. Because we Africans, we are in a cultural setting, so you have to be aware. If you have to ask the content of the parents first and let them know that you're actually exposing their child. Do you understand? So also, uh, you should watch out for non-verbal signs of distress and pain. Because the child is not really wise to actually tell you that, okay, this is exactly where I'm feeling this pain, all right? So uh, they might tend to actually... Uh, just show up the signs, like let me say, um, if they are feeling pains, if you are trying to examine them and they are feeling pains, they might just uh, try to just show off the signs, okay? So the child might just be showing up some facial expressions and the facial expression can be like pain, can be showing out that they are feeling pain on the joints. It could be uh, withdrawal of the limb too, okay? Could be that they don't want to actually step on that feet because when they step on that feet it is pain in them do you understand so you are meant to actually observe all of this then carefully check for symmetry and look for joint swelling abnormal posture and muscle wasting symmetry is basically uh, you are trying to check their body is their body in alignment or are there some parts that are like swollen okay and all that then check for joint swelling that's still it then uh, joint swelling basically are looking out for if there's inflammation or not. Then abnormal posture. As a child is walking, are they showing signs of limping? Okay. Then you should also check for muscle wasting. Okay. And checking for muscle wasting, you don't just say, you don't just look at somebody and say the person has muscle wasting. Muscle wasting is basically uh, they compare one part of your body to the other part of your body. Okay. Mm, that it is just um, same to it. So now if you see that this other part is bigger than the other one, the difference is too much, then that's muscle wasting, all right? Because some people might look slim, but actually they are slim, you understand? So um, in, um, in examination, in musculoskeletal system examination, you are basically looking out for what uh, normal developmental milestones, all right? So for newborn, if you are doing a musculoskeletal examination, you are checking out for what grafts reflex, if it is present, then moral reflex, if it is present, okay? Then for babies which are like three to six months old, uh, you hold uh, holds he he head up unsupported, then, um, okay, you're trying to check if they can hold their head up unsupported. Then for babies that are six to nine months, you're actually trying to check if the baby can actually sit up. Do you understand? Then for baby that's are 9 to 12 months, that's 9 to 1 year, you are checking for the baby if they can crawl and if they can be able to stand up. Then for babies from 9 to 18 months, that's are 9 to more than 1 year, you are checking out if they can walk. Then for babies between 18 to 24, you are actually checking out if they can run because at this, at the very stage, uh, the developmental milestone is actually expected to be uh, uh, 
achieved by the individual at that age all right so guys this is it about um musculoskeletal system examination in children or basically pediatrics all right so see you guys